It's a week after the Dodge Challenger SRT Demon debuted, and it is still blowing up the internet. Its specs have already been tattooed on the faces of more than a few of Mopa's faithful. But Dirk Hacker, Vice President of Engineering at BMW's M Division, hasn't heard word one about America's newest and most powerful muscle car. How much power? He asks. 840 horsepower? He nods. Does it have a manual transmission? Automatic only, we say. Our wheel drive? Nope, rear wheel drive. He takes another sip from his drink. Maybe my son has heard of it, he says with more than a hint of derision. He likes American performance cars. Hacker's questions aren't surprising considering the driver train in his team's latest creation, the 2018 BMW M5, known internally as the F90. It will be the first M5 generation with all-wheel drive, electrically assisted power steering, and, hold on to your save the manuals. Shirt, without an available manual transmission. For the record, the E60 M5 launched in 2005 exclusively with an automated manual, but her own gearbox was made available the next year. And if that's not enough to send the M faithful into a panic, the sixth generation of BMW's Super C Dan is the first to have a traditional automatic transmission. Yes, it has a torque converter. Blaspheming motor and worker, relax. The following day, a dozen laps in camouflage M5 prototypes surround the road courses at BMW's Miramas test facility in southern France show that this car has the potential to be the best M5 since the E39 gave way to the Bangletastic E60. The M5's new hardware may be blasphemous, but it's good. Very good. Even the mighty M division can no longer ignore the popularity that all-wheel drive sedans enjoy in the United States. Not when the M5's German rivals, the Mercedes AMG E63 and the Audi RS7, send their power to all four wheels. Development of this M5 started with all-wheel drive in mind, Hacker tells us. Still, the engineers recognize that every M must be a driver's car. So they designed an all-wheel drive system with a true rear-wheel drive mode. In this mode, torque completely bypasses the front axle regardless of the car's slip angle. It's unique among BMW X drive models. With the push of a button, the full brunt of the engine's torque output is sent to the electronically controlled limit slip rear differential which has been retooled with new carbon clutch plates that can vary the differential action from wide open to completely locked. The all-wheel drive system employs the same Magnar supplied transfer case as the 7 Series X drive range, although its clutch plates are now formed from carbon fiber instead of molybdenum for more consistent temperature control and longevity. BMW's M division has more engineers working on software than ever before, and that's where the real magic lies in this all-wheel drive system. The control unit, tucked away in the area behind the left front tire, analyzes steering angle, throttle position, wheel slip, each wheel's drive torque, lateral load, and acceleration. It then determines how much locking force to apply to the center coupler and the rear differential. Three settings progressively increase the M5's liveliness, a standard all-wheel drive mode, a sport all-wheel drive mode, and a rear drive mode. The system adds about 140 pounds, but BMW says the car still ended up roughly 90 pounds lighter than the portly previous model that weighed nearly 4,400 pounds. Weight-saving measures include more extensive use of aluminium in the chassis, the new electrically assisted steering, and a standard carbon fiber roof although it'll be steel if the optional sunroof is ordered. There's also a lighter lithium ion battery. The diet, combined with all-wheel drive grip, will make this the quickest M5 ever. Use launch control and BMW says the M5 will storm to 60 miles per hour in less than 3.5 seconds. That's more than half a second quicker than BMW quoted for its predecessor, which we tested at 3.7 seconds with the optional 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission. Driftable, balanced, and quick. Although total weight is down, balance has shifted slightly forward. There's also a less aggressive tire stagger than before, but don't let any of that concern you. Front-end grip is impressive. On the road course at Miramas, 
the big sedan feels light on its feet and shows a very friendly nature at the limit of its Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires, which has sized 27535ZR20 in front and 28535ZR20 at the rear 19-inch wheels will be standard. This is an easy car to drive quickly. There's just enough body roll to feel the chassis take a set in curves, and the car rotates nicely on the brakes. Yet, unlike the outgoing F10 M5, which could be a handful, it never feels as if it's going to snap around and spit you off the road. Response from the all-wheel drive system is consistent, linear, and predictable. This M5 is actually tossable, and it will drift when configured with the all-wheel drive in its sport setting and the DSC system in M dynamic mode, which allows for more tire slip. In RWD mode with DSC turned off you can power slide it like an E90 M3. The steering requires less effort than before, and it's 25% quicker, which helps the car feel smaller and lighter than it is. It's a huge improvement over the steering in the 5th generation car. There's also more feel, but not as much as you get from Porsche in the Panamera. The iron rotor brakes are easy to modulate and showed no fade even after 7 hard laps. Carbon ceramic rotors will be optional. Chassis modifications from the Pedestrian 5 series include a slight increase in track, new aluminum body dampers, and, unlike the F10 M5, a rubber isolated rear subframe with revised bushings for improved ride comfort. This will be the fastest M5 ever around the Nurburgring, where testing is ongoing. About 600 horsepower. The engine is strong but a bit anticlimactic only because it's so familiar. Known as S63, it's the same twin turbo 4.4 litre V8 with direct injection and variable valve timing that powered its predecessor, but here it's modified to increase power and durability. The hot V mounted turbochargers are larger and produce more boost, and the fuel injection pressure is dialed up for more precise delivery and increased volume. There's a new higher capacity oil pump, and a new oil pan is required to package the all-wheel drive system. The direction of the oil flow has also been modified slightly, but Hacker wouldn't get more specific. He also wouldn't tell us much about the changes to the cooling system, although he admits the water pump is a higher capacity. The results also are familiar, as they build upon the upgrades of the 575 horsepower 2016 M5 with the competition package. Power jumps from 560 horsepower in the old base M5 to about 600 horsepower, and torque increases from 500 lbft to roughly 515 lbft. The red line remains at 7,250 revolutions per minute. The redesigned and lighter exhaust system is a bit louder than before, and there's a new button on the console to make it louder still. It sounds good, with a deep growl, but it's not obnoxious. Unfortunately, BMW continues to synthesize the engine's roar through the audio system. Switching from BMW's 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission to the ZF 8-speed isn't something to be concerned with, either. It's the same gearbox used in the 7 Series and the X5, but it's tuned by M for this application, and it's no slush box. According to Hacker, the torque converter locks up by the time a car has traveled just over 3 feet and it achieves very close to zero torque loss on gear changes. There's a sport mode, as well as three levels of shift intensity, which can be manipulated with a button on the shifter. In sport plus mode the 8 speed is telepathic always downshifting when you want it to end up shifting at the engine's red line with a satisfying punch. Use the paddles and it responds quickly enough, plus it will hold gears at red line. You won't miss the dual clutch. Distinguishing the M5 from the M550i X drive are a straight hood, flared front fenders with vents, a small lip on the rear wheel arches, sculpted rocker panels, specific mirrors, and aggressive front and rear fascias. Inside, the M steering wheel retains its two configurable M drive buttons M1 and M2 to shortcut to your favorite setups among the zillion combinations of tune for the all-wheel drive system, steering, suspension, stability control, and powertrain. Production will begin soon after the car is officially unveiled at the Frankfurt Auto Show in September. In the meantime, 
we were told that 100 M5 mules are being tested all over the world as hackers team finalizes the last 5% of development. When complete, all the hardware and software likely will migrate quickly to the next generation M6 and M6 Grand Coupe. Expect production M5 sedans in dealerships early next year.